Hi again guys and welcome to of course another speed tune in particular for Forza Horizon 4 this time for a car which I loved as soon as I saw it from Koenigsegg plus it's got great very forward thinking tech as well the Koenigsegg Regera with the very ingenious approach to having a direct drive but without like uh, the typical electric setup that you'd have in something like a Remark or a Tesla with massive power, massive torque and also pretty great performance as well given that you've only got one traditional gear ratio to work with. Now as far as the tuning, you can't do a huge amount to this car so it depends what class you want it in. If you fully upgrade it, you're looking at X class whereas if you do a couple of things, you can keep it into S2998. Now, if you want to get one of those tunes for it it can actually do the same speed in both classes. It will do 272 miles per hour and the only thing that changes is the acceleration. It's a little bit slower uh, at low end speeds, so if you want to get one of those to go this fast in either X or S2, you can find both on my storefront. So use the keywords down below in the description, or use my gamer tag, you can find them very easily. Now as far as the upgrade parts, if you want to just go all out, then fit everything. Racing tyres, uh, I think you can upgrade the diff, I think you can drop the weight. Uh, you don't need the roll cage, but I would recommend the roll bars for the front and rear, etc, etc. The suspension, of course, as well. Now, as far as the transmission itself, the golden number for this one is 2.57. That gets you a really nice mix of great acceleration, and you've got to bear in mind as well, you cannot convert this to all-wheel drive, which is kind of a shame. It would be even quicker, theoretically, but still, it's not exactly slow as it is. It's just a little bit more sluggish than some off the line. 272 flat out and I've gone that fast with it and in a second of course I'll prove that it can do that. As far as alignment you're looking at neutral camber you could actually give it a little bit of camber if you wanted you still don't really need any toe angle but camber could potentially help try for instance towing it out one degree or uh, that's negative in other words one degree of camber front and rear if you want to but I'm running it with none anyway. As far as the caster, as usual, I've gone for 4 degrees. You could take it a little bit higher to stiffen it up a bit. As far as anti-roll, we've got those on 35 and 25, springs on 115, 155, and the lowest ride height on the front and the back. Dampers on 11, 14, 5, and 6. Aero, you definitely want as low as possible to get the highest possible speed. And for the diff, I've actually left it as it already is. So you could change that if you want to. It will certainly have a major effect on the car, but it's down to you. I actually quite like the handling at high speed already, and I don't plan to use it as much of a low speed car anyway. So for me, it's pretty much perfect. But for you, you might want to change some things around as and when necessary, basically. So that's it for the tuning. As I said, you can get both from my storefront. So now let's check out how quick it can go. Now, under most circumstances online, you will probably struggle off the line and at lower speeds with a car like this because so many people, like myself, do use all-wheel drive. If you're on a track where you cannot use the top-end power of this car, I would not recommend using it. If though you can, there are not many cars which can keep up with the top-end acceleration of this machine, and as you can see here, it can actually go beyond the benchmark, it's that good. 273 miles per hour is not too shabby for a car that's working with one traditional gear ratio. But of course click here on screen to see all of my other tunes for Forza and follow my storefront for even more tunes than that. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.